Hi, today we're going to be taking on Boss from Viewla at Hasbro's Transformers Generations. Titans Return, Titan Master, Allbot, Petro. So, um, pretty much it's a Headmaster, G1 Headmaster, just, you know, redesigned for the Titans Return lineup series. So yeah, Petro is aka Swoop. So if you didn't know, there's some rumors for around on the internet, on forums, on here on YouTube and stuff, of why Swoop's name been changed to Petro. Two ideals of the theories that's been thrown around is one, either Takari told me is suing Hasbro over the name rights because they're like, oh, it was Takari Tony who had the name first and then Hasbro took it. Like how Octane was something else that they had to change the name. And if you remember Transformers 4, I forgot the title of that Transformer movie, but you know, the fourth Transformer movie was the Dinobots. Auto Dinobot Slade name has been changed to Slud in the toy lamp. Why? Because appearing in the UK and other parts of the EU and Europe, Slade means something bad. It's like a bad word. Now, I don't know what it actually translates here to you know the US to America, but I'm guessing Slade, like if you told someone, hey, Slade off, I'm guessing that must the way how I take it is, it translates to, hey, F off. Like if you told someone, hey you, F off. Well, in the UK, I'm guessing if you told someone, hey, Slade off, that's what it might mean. I don't know, I'm not from the UK, so I don't know what it actually translates into. So if anyone's from the UK that watches, let me know in the comments, like, what Slade actually means, what it translates into. Why is it a bad word? And maybe tell me, like, why, you know, here in America, we say Slade, like, as in, if you watch, you know, Transformers the G1 series, all about Slade, and Dino all, well, Dino all about Slade, Dino all about Swoop, which is now Petro. Just like Grimlock, little Grimlock, his name stayed the same. It wasn't like, oh, oh, Grimlock, we have to call it Gr Lockjaw or Grimjaw or something. His name stays the same, Grimlock. Now, the other two, uh, the Stutosaurus and the Botosaurus, I don't remember what their names were offhand, but uh, yeah, that's why I apparently changed Slade to Slud and P Swoop to Petro. Yeah. But that's just what's going around on the internet, on forums, on sites, on like, oh, Takari told me suing them over the name rights. Oh, it means so bad in the UK. So UK and EU and Europe is all mad about that. And they're like, we don't want a toy named FU or like F off. We want one that's named something else. Like, personally, if I found an Arbot or the Sarkon that's name was like, Oh, but F off! You know, the four letters word F blank blank K off, you know. I'll be like, oh man, I'm buying that one. Lit. It says like, F off on it. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't buy one that would actually say that? Or, you know, any other thing. But in Europe, EU, I guess they're like, Slade. I'm guessing that's what it meant. Like, F off, like, slate off. Again, I'm not from the UK, so I'm not familiar with all their slang. Like, I know for a sitter, if you say, hey, can I borrow a sitter? Or bum a sitter off you, you say, hey, can I borrow a fade? Give me a fade. But like in America, that means something else. You know, but in the EU, that's slang for, give me a smoke, give me a sitter. You know? So that's why names tip and chains with this stuff. Anyway, let's get to some bots. Just for our photo out there, so if you're like, wait a minute, shouldn't that one be Swoop? Why is it Petro? Well, now you kind of have an idea of why they're changing the names of our beloved old school G1 classic 
get transformers. So it's not like, oh, it's a new one called Petro. No, it's just Swoop Rename. So let's get a little headmaster here. Oh, not bad looking headmaster. His head looks pretty cool. Although you can tell there is some things that's a little off on his head. Like from the pathogen, his eyes should be a deep dark blue. And they are blue, but the visor is actually covering them up a little bit. Like his little top of his head, or his forehead, the brow. Either they needed to make the eyes drop down a little bit lower, or move his little head piece, or the little brow up a little bit, so you can see the eyes better. And I know the mouth is supposed to be black, just take a little Sharpie or a little gutter marker, or a little paintbrush, and you can paint that in. That's, I don't care about that, that's okay, but everything else, nah. Let's get our little instructions out here. And see how we transform him. Um, it's just a one step, so. But there is actually seven steps in here. So here's what petrol looks like. Or a swoop. Got little jet flusters on the bat. There. His little mouth kind of opens up into like a little claw thing, I guess, and or something. So you could kind of have like a open and closed mouth. Pretty cool. So how do we actually do this? So we take the bat piece, flip the bat piece up, put it in, like. This, I guess they're saying. And then... So it's telling us to move... I'm guessing the handle back there and... What are they telling us to do? I guess you move that piece like that down there, you know the instructions is showing it on the up piece. So you put it like that. Then you grab it and flip this one in here. Like that. Okay, so you put it in from the bottom. Okay. And then you lock it down. The little feet gets locked out and then you cover its head up. But it actually looks pretty cool, like that. So that is mode one. Mode two. And then this thing, you just put that piece back up there, I'm guessing. I don't know, the instructions are not that great. I kind of prefer it down here. This little hand piece to go downward. So it looks better than having it straight up in the air like that. But uh, anyway. So just saying take that out and move the head forward. So let's pop this piece out. It's dropping a little dive bomb on the head, Master. <laughs> Which is pretty funny. So you just move the head forward, they're saying, like that. Then we completely close it downward, like that. So we kind of have like a little gun barrel going on here. Flip up the whale, like that. Oh, 
Oh no. Just showing it upside down. Flip that piece down like that. Stupid instructions, they need to make it way better. And fold up this to form a little chair. So now you pretty much have it upside down. So it was this way, now you turn it upside down and there's a little chair coming out or folding up how you want. Let's go ahead. Fold up the wings, drop the headmaster in there. So these part of the wings, just fold them up. Let's get a little the arms on this headmaster, it's a bit tight. So let's see if we could get his feet pad in there. Which they don't really want to put in there that much. And there you go. You kind of have him in his flying gun turret chair. Yeah. That is a thing because you just seen it happen. And to get it into its weapon mode. This thing just kind of takes it, flip it bear around. And stuff. Straight out the legs. And how did we do this? Okay, we just popped it in like that. Too far back. Pushed it in too far. Oh, come on, now his head doesn't want to fit in there. Don't worry folks, we'll get this eventually. So there we go on that part. Just pretty much try returning it to its original form ish. Well actually they say completely turn it to its original form. Okay, so then we pull the head forward and drop it down. Drop head down, and then it says rotate and pull the up. So just pretty much drop the head down like that, and pull the handle out like that. And apparently, it's supposed to be in a bow mode, so you could use it as a laser or gun bow or something like that. So I was talking about swoop. Little swoop here. The uh, Transformers fourth movie of Swoop, which was renamed to Strafe, which I don't know why they didn't name this one Strafe. So you have Swoop, Strafe, and Petro. And here's kind of what it looks like. Let's kind of go with this combo. Let's bring in. Hot rod and kind of straighten it out. So, hot rod kind of has a laser bow gun. So, we could kind of pretend like he's pulling it back and aiming it and stuff. Now, I don't remember who came out with it. Was it uh, Toy Mates or Iron Factory? Or not Toy Mates, I mean Mate Toys. It was one of those like uh, third party not off companies. Well, not necessarily a not off company. They are pretty much well known. But you know, a third party company. And they made like a Wadimus Prime, I think, set. Although the body looked very much like Hot Rod instead of Wadimus Prime. But it had the Wadimus Prime trailer. That you actually got a bow that he could wield like a bow and arrow or a Cybertronian laser bow and arrow. Which was pretty cool. So that's what it looked like with him. Uh, why not give it to him? Because he's red. So, a bow and a sniper rifle. 
Yep. We're good to, uh, what was his name? <laughs> I forgot his name. Eh, that's funny. Well, but, uh, or, um, Perceptor. Yeah, and then here's what it would look like on a leader class. So, two Deluxe class and one leader class, which again, sniper rifle and a bow. But you might want to straighten the wings out a bit. Although, if you kind of have them curve a bit, they kind of do make it look more like a bow if you curve it. Because they're saying, let me pop that off for a second. They're saying leave the wings straight like this. Doesn't really look like a bow. If you kind of curve it, just pull it back slightly. It kind of looks like a bow because you know a wheel bow has that curve to it when you pull it back and stuff. So I suggest you just curve the wings to make it look like a bow. Of course, you could curve it this way, but this way looks more like for swooping in pterodactyl mode. Well, this one kind of because of the way how the wings are, it's more like a bow. So yeah, let me move all these things out of the way, and why not, let's just pop the head off, <clears throat> there we go, close that, turn this guy to its original form, and let's swap Hotbot's head off, and of course we could swap off Perceptor's head, so. Come on, snap in there. Hot Rod, it's a bit hard to get his head on, but that's what he looks like with his new head. Which actually looks pretty cool. It actually matches a bit. And why not Perceptor? Because Perceptor's got a black head. Mm. Which is a Bit of a hard thing to pop out. And let's snap on petrol. Which is uh, very hard to snap on. I mean, that joint's just, wow, well, super hard. I can't really snap it on. It feels like I'm going to break it. If I try to put it on, but I'm going to try doing a half job of putting it on. So, yeah, I know you still see the pad port right there for the little head and stuff. But I can't actually put it down in there because it feels like it's going to just snap and break. So, that's kind of the imagine of what it would look like with its new head. Which actually looks pretty cool. Actually, I prefer this head over this head when you got this giant sniper on it. But yeah, so let me make sure I have the white heads here. And is this blue one? Wait. Yeah. Yeah, that is the head. Yep. Have to check because, like I said, both heads look almost identical. To each other. So this one's got yellow eyes, this one's got blue eyes and stuff. I mean because of the gray and red and brown and red I thought this one the web would match better on the bat but yeah it's that head so yeah let's see if we can get this little flower to stand. There we go. Stand this to yourself. So yeah that has been Quite a history and a little bit of the story of what's going on with name changes and stuff in different countries and the speculation of Takari versus Hasbro and all that stuff. And, you know, the unboxing review of Transformers Titans Return, ge ge Generations, Alba Petro, Titan Master. We're going to subscribe and leave a comment. Alright, thanks, bye.